Hello there, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 2. In the last episode we've been making our way up Cashel and Keep, and I kind of had to take a break to go and get some more supplies. We may have, it may, we may have had a bit of an overrun with the time in the last episode, but I don't think it's too big of an issue really. We've been trying to keep them consistent, but I suppose you can't always do that. But yes, we have arrived at the what looks to be the top. It seems to be guarded by some kind of fire elemental. That's what be, that's what would be my guess. Uh, let me just check our HP and stuff. Yeah, we seem to be in all right, Nick. Our magic is really looking too hot, though. We've got plenty of supplies. In fact, let's use some of those, actually. We can top off our health with some potions. Yeah, we should probably do, be doing that more often, actually, now that I think about it. They're cheap enough. It's just my natural inclination to save items <laughs> and just use them as little as possible. Because I am an item hoarder in these kinds of games. It's not good, but it's just my nature. All right, so I think it's high time that we uh, took on this boss. I think this is going to be a boss. I presume it will be. So yeah, let's do that. Gordon, you know what to do. I mean, this is technically his home, isn't it? He's the Prince of Cashwin. Oh! I heard there was a monster guarding Eccles' torch. Now I've seen it with my own eyes. It's a red soul! What on earth does that mean? Red soul? Oh, well, that's kind of creepy. Uh... We can't really inspect it, can we? It's fire, so maybe... Let's try magic. Oh, yeah, we're gonna try some magic on this. We don't have much MP, though. Could be a problem. I don't think fire's gonna really be doing much to it. We've got boss music going on, so that's not comforting. I think that might be weak to ice, so we'll go with that. In fact, let's try different uh, different magics on it. <laughs> we could dry fire. Probably not gonna do much, but uh... Oh actually no. Yeah, since it fire's probably not gonna be do be doing much. I think what we'll do is, let's raise our magic defense. That might be worthwhile. Let's do that. For the first time, I think, actually. And Gordon can just do what he does best and uh, probably miss. Oh no! What's he done? A 34. Oh, that heals it? What? Excuse me? Okay, well, it's a good thing we're doing uh, healing. Oh, that heals it! Okay, let's, let's not do magic then. I guess that's a bad idea. Unless that's uh, I can't imagine if we can just be able to hit this fire <laughs> with physical attacks. I suppose we have to try it, won't we? Anyway, let's, keep, let's keep using shell. Let's uh, heal everyone. Only one damage though, excuse me. Uh... This is how this is meant to work. I mean, that seems to do quite a bit, the, the piercing. Oh god. Yeah, we've barely got any MP left, have we? We were just going to keep keep trying, aren't we? Yeah, raise magic defense. That's kind of necessary. Can we use... But there's, maybe there's a gimmick to this fight. Red Soul. Maybe if I try healing on it, that could be a bit of a last resort. Yeah, seems to be doing kind of cruddily. Our physical attacks. This could take forever if this is probably a, a kind of fight I think it's going to be. I don't want to use Cure on it though, just for it to get healed. Because it doesn't really seem to be undead. Fear. Oh, I could, I could try and silence it. That might be worth a shot. You know what, well, actually no. Firion's going to attack. Well, no, but Firion's the only one that has silence, so let's, n <laughs> let's, let's not do that. Oh, we have a sinner. We could have... I forgot we have that. We could just just use that uh, earlier in the last episode. Anyway, now's not the time to punch myself. 
for not noticing it. Yeah, let's try silence. And, uh... We could try cure? Oh, a bit of a risky... risky click. Uh, okay, we'll try it. Could be a dumb thing to do. Yes, that's uh... I suppose it might not be protecting us from much magic, considering that it's only level 1. But it's better than nothing. It's not going to work, is it? No. Oh, it did. It did. Oh god, that really just... <laughs> I just healed it. Great job, me. Yeah, it seems to... Any and all magic attacks seem to... Heal it. Uh, that's not good. <laughs> We're just going to have to go all out, aren't we? Okay, so physical attacks seem to do a lot. Well, at least his unarmed attacks. Guys, that is. Right, we're gonna have to brute, brute force it. Oh god. Okay, it's not too bad. We're just gonna have to keep whacking it. I can just stick the auto fight on. I suppose we'll win eventually. Yeah, there we go. I, I overthought it as always. Oh, well, we've got some stat increases. But is this where the torch is? I think it might be. Yes, we got the Eggle's Torch. Okay, this is what we need. What did we need this again? Or again? We need to... I kind of forgot. Oh, we need it for the, the fire. That's right. Oh, my, my mind is just in complete disarray. I think what we're going to do, instead of heading down, we are going to have a guy teleport us out. And then we'll just head back in. Okay, well, it seems like a, I think that's cash one key done now. Kind of strange to think about that. But I think we have what we need. We need to take this back to Hilda, that's right. At least I think that's what we need to do. The guy's not looking too hot for the HP though. Oh, yes, because that's what happens. You teleport out at the cost of HP. Noted. I forgot about that. <laughs> Alright, so let's, uh, let's use the Eggle's Torch. Yes, that should be what we need to do. The Sunfire moves to Eggle's Torch. That's right, good. What do we need to use this for again, though? I can't... I can't remember. I suppose maybe we'll, let's take this back to Altair, and maybe my, my memory will be jogged. Yeah, as I mentioned, it's been a little bit of a time since I played this game. And I think we've been, yeah, I feel like we must have been getting some more money in this dungeon. Yeah, we're back to 10k already. I was kind of, I kind of spent it all in the last episode. Oh. What's going on? Is there an airship here? No, don't tell me the, the Dreadnought has found us. Oh god, it has. It's chasing us. It's chasing us. Or is this, is that not us? I think that might be Sid. Is that Sid? I think they got captured. Well, that's ominous. Um, what did that entail? Can we check the map? So there's... Hmm. Summer Falls, yeah. There doesn't seem to be any new locations that have popped up. I wonder if there'd be like a landing site for the Dreadnought. But I guess not. In any case, we should probably head back on a chocobo. And, uh... Well, we could probably check on Sid as we go to, um... I think it's Poft? Yeah, that's the name of that town. Yeah, because if he's been captured, that's not good for us. Well, it's not good for Sid either, but you know what I mean. Because that kind of takes our fast travel away. I suppose it's, it makes sense that they want to capture Sid, because he has the only other airship, really. If what he tells us is to be believed. But if I get head into Poth, though, then uh, I'll lose the Chocobo. Let's head, let's head back by, uh, by foot. 
I feel like it can't hurt to ask Hilda about uh, about the Dreadnought. I'm not sure where we can find it because I know we need to deal with it. But I just don't know where it could be. Maybe she'll give us directions. You need to get Gordon healed up. And Guy healed up as well. Alright, so we have Eggle's Torch with the Sunfire. But the thing is, where do we take it? Are the Sunfires needed to overload the engines? I think that's what... If, I think it's coming back to me now. Yeah, we need to... Since the Dreadnought runs on Sunfire, if we can overload it with Sunfire, then uh, the engines might explode. I think that's what our plan was. Let's check in with the, uh, the Resistance. Use that Sunfire to build the Dreadnought. Okay, so that was the plan. Gotcha. The Princess left on Sid's airship to meet you at Cashew and Keep. Excuse me? Wait, what? So Hilda left to meet us. Oh, Hilda was on the airship. We just got captured. That's just grand. <laughs> I tried to stop the princess from boarding the airship, but she wouldn't listen. So I think she's been captured by the Empire now. Yeah, it's kind of a bit of a dumb move, Hilda, if you ask me. Didn't need to get, we, I was, we could just come and meet you back here. Oh, that's kind of put a wrench in things. It appears the Empire has a supply base far to the north of Finn. The Dreadnought may be docked there now. P -p Princess Hilda. Yes, so uh, we, north of Finn is where we need to go then. And well, I bet the King isn't going to be taking that too, too well. Let's see what he has to say. Minwu, I'm afraid things have uh, kind of gone a little bit wrong. The princess felt badly about always sending you out on such dangerous assignments. She thought the least she could do was meet you at the Cashew and Keep on Sid's airship. She didn't need to do that, man. But we do have... the Sunfire. Oh. Guess we can't ask about that. I guess there's nothing much uh, else is going to happen there. Please, please rescue my daughter. Yeah, we're going to try. So I guess we've got no other thing, nothing else to do except to go and rescue her. My goodness, what a bind she's got us in now. But I suppose that adds to the excitement, if you can call it that. You think it's worth checking in the item, the weapon shop? They might have something new, but uh, yeah, there might be some more dialogue to be had. Right, so we're rested up now. Good, good. Yeah, I can't imagine the townsfolk are happy about this either. Although I'm not sure the shopkeepers could really do really have anything else to say. Yeah, they've got mithril items, but that's kind of useless, kind of. Well, not as useless as the other stuff. What about the smith? Is there anything new? No, still mithril stuff. Right, so I guess there's nothing new here. So I said, let's get back on the main map after I check this magic shop. Those are going to be the, the simple spells, isn't it? Yeah. All right, let's just check the map. All right, north of Finn. So I can see Finn, but. Does that mean I have to go back to Semit Falls? No, north of Finn. Far north of Finn, I think it said. Hmm. Well, I mean, there's no chocobos around, is there? It's going to make travelling up, up there kind of a pain. But I guess we have no other option. That's what we've got. Just It's just what we've got to do. I think we've got plenty of supplies enough. So, uh, yeah, we don't need to make any side stops, like a Katraya. Yeah, Finn's just across the lake. I imagine it's still occupied. In fact, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's still occupied, so we probably don't need to head into Finn. 
But it said far north of, uh... Far north of Finn. Can't be that hard to find, surely. We might be wandering around for the rest of this episode, though. Right, so let's check north of Finn. Hmm. It's not in that little enclave separated by this, by the sea, is it? Yeah, we've got kind of stronger enemies up here. Well, nothing we haven't fought already. Ugh, that um, oh, magic though. Is it in there? I can't really see on this map. Could be. Oh, magician. I don't think we fought them yet, <laughs> but I guess they're not that strong. Major staff. Uh, I suppose we don't really need to be using that. I'll probably let's pass these mountains, but I can't see anything. Well, let's check around here. And if we can't find it, then, uh... Might have to do something else. It's just these random encounters that are just uh, taking up a little bit of time. Anything up here? No? Yeah, maybe you have to head back to uh, the Semit Falls area. But if we continue up here, we'll eventually get to Cashew and Keep again. Although the enemies might get stronger as well. Oh, sleep. Come off it. Oh, they got all of us as well. Hmm. I have a feeling that going up here might not be the best idea. I don't feel... <laughs> if we die, then I guess... Uh... <laughs> I guess that's my fault, isn't it? <laughs> Level up with the spear, though. Level 7 with the spear. Firion, you go. A blind tome. Does anyone have blind? Well, we won't check it out right now. Yeah, I worry if I go further north, then I'll end up, uh, biting off more than I can chew. Man, I wish I had the airship from Final Fantasy 1. That'd make everything so much better. Okay, so let's try and put through all of these encounters. There's so much empty space on this map, I swear. <laughs> Nicely done, guy. He said north of Finn, so I presume that we've probably gone past it at this point. Oh no, here it is! I, I was right. <laughs> when they say north of Finn, clearly they mean in the far southeast of the map. I suppose all things are relative in the kind of fancy world, considering how weirdly the globe works, apparently. Okay, so at least I, I didn't go on a wild goose chase. Alright, so... Is, is this the dock? Where it was built, I wonder? Hmm. Come on, we're in good nick, it looks like. Yeah, decent. Let's get, let's get a little bit of healing going on, though, with the potions. Just a quick top up. Okay, I think we're ready. Famous last words. Yeah, we're on board the Dreadnought now. So did it bring... Did it just come here to bring the airship down? Or did it crash? I don't think it crashed, no. I'm wagering this is where... This is where it was built. It looks like there's some kind of dry dock. I could be wrong though. Well, we got we got nice though. God. Well, what do you want? Uh, I suppose it should be obvious. We want to kick your ass. Sunfire? <laughs> Did we dare? No. 
What can we ask about that? It's on fire? Um... Nothing else? <laughs> rebel curse. Okay, we just, we just need to say that we're rebels. Right to the face of the enemy. I suppose that's... That makes sense. Oh god, a captain. Yeah, but I think we came across these in a... In... Finn. At least I... Th yeah, I think I might have done... It might, that might have been in a... In a take that didn't get uploaded. So this might be the first time on camera that I'm seeing these, but yeah, they're pretty strong. But I suppose we're stronger than we were back when we first visited Finn. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, oh no. These these guys are strong. Yeah, 39. Okay, so it looks like we probably can defeat them. It's just going to take a while. I feel like Guy's going to be the one that does this. Yeah, 75. Whittling them down. Seems to be resistant to slashing. Possibly. Yeah. Oh god. Gordon, no. No, that was Guy. <laughs> what are we talking about? What is up with this guy's health, though? Oh. That was a boss, though, wasn't it? I, uh... I didn't presume it would be, but uh, I guess so. Yeah, everyone, everyone leveled up with uh, <laughs> everyone leveled up with their weapons. Yeah, that was a tough fight actually. I feel like uh, I kind of took that one a little bit on the nose. Didn't feel like there wasn't any special music, so didn't really feel like a boss fight. Golden armor though. Oh, nice. Okay, that's 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 a. Uh, have a quick, uh, a quick stock check. Yeah, let's give, uh, let's give Gordon the golden armor. I think he needs it. He's got the Webuster still. Let me just check out that one spell. Yeah, that's even better than the Webuster actually. Yeah, that's actually way better. But he's not a mage, is he? Oh, I kind of feel a bit conflicted about giving him the the staff. <laughs> it just feels weird having this knight use a mage's weapon though, when he can't use magic. Y you know what, We're just let's just give him the mage's staff. It's kind of funny when I think about it. Alright, so. Yeah, let's, let's get everyone healed up a bit. Yes, but, uh, Gordon especially needs healing. Yes, let's get Furion healed up. There we go. Okay, so that was a fight that happened. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to just have to proclaim our allegiance to the rebellion right there. But I suppose are all these are enemies here going to be captains? I hope not, because that was a tough fight on its in its own. There's a way down. Hmm. I'm kind of confused by where to start. I'm actually going to quick save real quick, just in case things get messy. Uh, can we do this again? Or are you just guys we can talk to? Oh, no, you you are actually enemies. Alright, so we're doing this again. Um. Alright, so. What can we do? They're not really magic users, are they? Are they? Let's try silence. We can try magic on them. Hmm. <laughs> they could just try freezing it to death. Yeah, I guess that's not really going to do much, is it? It's not that great. Great damage. We're going to have to go with the old strategy, aren't we? Just brute forcing it. Maybe we can try some other magic as well. See if that's any more effective. Oh, 
that's mm, not great. Yeah, and he's just he's just gonna keep going for guy, isn't he? Probably should probably heal up a uh, guy if he's going to be taking that much damage. Just in case. Oh, that was simpler. Why did the other one feel like it took so long? Was that a different enemy? I, I, I wasn't actually paying attention. Okay, maybe we can fight the other ones. Or if I maybe if I talk to him again, it's just going to be the same. Let's not talk to the other ones then. Uh, can we go down? Uh, that might be a bad idea. Oh, but we've got more more enemies. The were rats that we fought before, but have we fought the ghasts before? I guess it's uh not too big a deal <laughs> where well, we got Maria on a team. Can go down. But what is down here? The, the fact that they're, they're just going to let us down here. Is there? There's a gate down here. But uh, what does that do for us? Oh, we're in an ambush though. Oh, I'm paralyzed. Oh, I'm blinded. Oh, okay. Um, I need to get these guys out of here as quickly as possible. Hmm. This place is probably going to be a step up from Kashuan, if I had to guess. In fact, I'm almost certain, considering the fact that the, the guards in this place alone are pretty darn strong. And what, what's up with this gate? An iron gate blocks the doorway. The cell is empty. Okay, but how do I get in there? It's, it's not empty because there's a chest in there. Alright, I guess there's nothing we can do there for now. Maybe I have to fight the guards and get the key? I don't know. What I'd, what I'd give some multiple hitting magic attacks right now though. A fire spell that hits all the enemies would be just so beautiful. Hmm. I'm sure we'll be getting them later on, though. Oh, oh, great. So, this, I thought he was blocking my way there for a minute. Yeah, these guys are they're all going to attack us, aren't they? The captain, yeah. Find these guys is probably not a good idea. That's just a melee attack, them, though. It's good. <laughs> it's good stat increases, if nothing else. Oh man, Gordon's down though. No. Ah, oh, Jesus. I'm so. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I have to use a phoenix down now. Oh. I keep forgetting Gordon just isn't as beefy as us. Alright, so let's uh, rectify that stupidity. I only have two Phoenix Downs. Oh, Gordon. Better be better appreciate that. Alright, so let's not talk to any of these guards. I can't worry if there anything. I just wonder if any of these guards have um, items though, that's the thing. I have to open that, that door down there. We've got four doors up there and one down there. Clearly the one down there is where we need to go. Let's, let's see what's behind one of these doors. I will have to end the, end the episode here though. I, do, I must apologise if anyone is actually watching. Um, <laughs> I feel like I don't really have much to say. Uh, in a lot, a lot of cases, I kind of feel like I'm just saying information that I've already said before in a lot of times, which is bad because I I do want to give interesting commentary. I just feel like I I just feel like I'm uh, not very good at that. Stunners, 
These are new. Thankfully, they don't seem to be too strong. But I have a feeling they're probably going to be inflicting paralysis, I've had to guess. Alright, so that's... We, we've seen behind one door. We've uh, dipped our toes in the in the, the foot of the... In the puddle of the Dreadnought. Uh, to put it in a metaphorical way. But yeah, in the next episode, we're going to be diving into this new dungeon after having just taken a step out of the old one. It's just non-stop, isn't it? But yes, we're going to be diving into the bowels of this great machine and hopefully destroying it. I don't know how... I can't imagine it will be <laughs> within one episode that we do that, though. I'd be mightily impressed if it was. In any case, thank you so much for watching, whoever you may be. <laughs> if anyone actually is watching. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next episode. Until then.